Hi guys! I am here in my laundry room and I am getting ready to bleach some drop cloth. Um, I showed you all on my Facebook page um, how I found a wingback chair that was really nice shape, nice lines for $15 over the weekend. And so I'm going to be slip covering it. And for all of my slip covering projects, I use drop cloth and I bleach it first so that it's white. Um, this works great because it's a heavy duty material. It's less than $3 per yard once you figure out the um, per yard cost of it. It holds up really well and it can be bleached, which is awesome because I have white slip covers on wingback chair, on my couch, on my love seat, and I have it on two benches. And so I also have four kids and obviously they all get completely destroyed all the time. So I'm able to bleach them, put them out in the sun. Um, they can stay really perfectly white, you know, whenever I clean them because they are bleached drop cloth. So I get this nine by 12 canvas drop cloth from Amazon. I actually have it linked in the description um, to a post that I explain all of these tips through a blog post. And I even show the before and after, which you won't be able to see today because I'm just starting this process. But I have on my blog the before and after picture of the drop cloth and also a link to the drop cloth I buy, which I also use this for the backs of my pillows in my shop because it's really nice color. It matches the grain sack perfectly and it's a good price and heavy duty. And so um, I buy this stuff like crazy. I mean, I buy, I probably bought 50 packages of it this year <laughs> or more. So um, I'm gonna show you how I bleach it to make it white. So there's a few tips. First of all, this drop cloth comes with a large seam right down the middle. And it'll feel really tough and you'll think, how can you use that to upholster slip cover? It gets really soft whenever you wash it, especially going through the amount of washing it's gonna go through for this bleaching. So I'm just gonna unwrap it. I'm gonna show you the seam that's down the middle. And the great thing about drop cloth is it also tears on a straight line. So I don't know any other fabrics that you can rip when you're cutting something out and it rips straight, but canvas drop cloth can. So it all comes with this, let me get it closer so you can see, seam down the middle. Hey, Derica. Yeah, so the reason I wanted to do a video on this is because I've had a lot of comments on my blog post that people say they tried and it didn't work. And it, it really does work. So I just wanna explain my tips and I think I have to emphasize just how much bleach you need and how much time. And um, I think maybe people don't really necessarily do the amount of time and bleach required. So that is kind of what I wanna show you because it doesn't want to turn white very easily. It has to be persuaded. So first thing I do is I get my scissors and I cut a little snip at the top where the seam is. So I've just cut a little bit right there by the seam and I'm gonna rip it right down the middle. The reason I'm gonna do that is the drop cloth needs a lot of uh, water contact with the bleach in the water to turn white. So if I go shoving in this nine foot by 12 foot piece in my washer, it's not gonna work. Um, okay, a few notes. Try to find someone you know who has a top load washer if you don't, because I have drop cloth fibers. Um, you can't really do it with a front loader. It needs to sit for a long time in the bleach. It has to or it won't turn. And so if you have one of those front loaders with the hour cycle, that's not enough contact with the bleach, it won't turn. Um, you could do it in a bathtub, which is what I've always recommended to people, and I've done it in a bathtub before I had a top loader because I had a front loader before. But I've heard concerns that it can mess up your tub, so you wanna, might wanna check the surface of your tub. I don't know which surface would be better. I know it's totally fine in a stainless steel washer drum, um, but as far as an acrylic tub or a cast iron, I don't know. And so 
the best thing to do is maybe if your grandma or someone you know or your aunt has a top loader washer, utilize that. Um, or check with the material that your tub's made, made of and make sure that it can stand to have bleach sitting on it. So that could be a problem for some people. Definitely need to use something where it can sit in the bleach for a long time. So for me, I have a top loader. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this half piece in my washer. And I am gonna have to bleach both halves for my wingback chair. One should cover the chair, which we will see when I go to slip cover it live, or at least in a sped up video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it live. Probably a sped up video, or that would take hours upon hours of you guys watching. And I won't have hours of time to do it, so it'll be piece together from the amounts of time I do get. So I'm gonna put this washer on as hot as it can go and I'm gonna let it fill up just all the way. Um, you could get a big stainless steel tub. That's a good point, Julie, yes. So yeah, something that you can get that stainless steel where also if you could be able to find like some kind of lid or covering for it because you want the water to be really hot. Um, I don't have any trouble keeping the water hot with this lid closed but if you're using a stainless steel tub, maybe you could cover it with like a white towel and then you could also maybe add some boiling water to it, so that would work. Um, so I'm going to fill it all the way up on hot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember before the cycle starts going to come back over here and pour in a bunch of bleach, which um, I say that because obviously sometimes I walk away and then I forget and then um, it's gone through the cycle, I have to do it all over again because you don't want to pour the bleach directly on the drop cloth. You want to make sure the washer is full of the hot water first before you add the bleach. So the point next I need to make is you need a lot, a lot, a lot of bleach. So I think a lot of times when people tell me that it didn't work, I don't think they used enough. I mean, you really need about half of this container for a full washer load with the bleach and the drop cloth and the half drop cloth. So probably about a whole thing of bleach for one nine by 12. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what it takes. And then also you need a lot of time. This is gonna sit in this washer for, I probably will run the cycle tonight, probably about eight hours. So probably before bed, I don't know, I might even let it run overnight, honestly. Um, you can weaken the fibers if you let it sit too long. So I probably will run the cycle right before I go to bed. Um, I don't love in my natural home the smell and the fumes of bleach. So I will usually choose to do this on a day when it's nice outside and I can open all the windows, even open the door. Um, so that's why I've chosen to do this today and to get this ready for my project. But I have done this a lot. Um, I use it for, like I said, two bench slip covers in my house. My couches are both covered with it my wing back chair, and then also for pillows. So I recently, I should have them down here to show you, but I recently made some monogram pillows for my girl's room redo, which I have on my duvet cover post. And you can see that they're white. Those were made with bleach drop cloth. It's just a very strong material, and um, it's, it's cheap, like less than $3 a yard. And you can bleach it and make it clean. And so you could also dye it. So I have bleach drop cloth before and then use Rip Dye to make it gray to make some um, pillows that I used to have in my living room. So I'm going to let this fill. I'm going to add the bleach. It's on hot, as hot as it can go. Um, depending on how hot your water heater is set to, you may want to add boiling water. Um, but I've always been okay with just this heat. Um, let's see here. Yes, Sterica. It's great for camper cushions because it's very durable fabric. It's strong. Um, I made my slip covers for my couches. It'll be four years this fall. Hi, Julie. Um, it'll be four years this fall that we've had them and they're still holding up. So that's with four kids, you know, being washed multiple times, all kinds of horrors. <laughs> it's seen, you know, blueberry fingerprints and everything. So it's still, it's still holding up strong. Um, and so that's why it's a good fabric for that. So, gonna add in this half thing of bleach, 
let it sit till at least tonight. Um, I'll probably jump on here tomorrow to show you how it looks. I'm gonna wash and dry it. If there's any little splotches on it, I'm gonna repeat the process. That happens too. You do have to be patient with bleaching drop cloth. It can definitely be done, but it doesn't want to bleach very easily. So I think when people tell me that it didn't work, they think it might maybe want to turn more easily, it doesn't. So I've linked in the description the blog post where I talk about this. You can pin it if you want to try this later um, and see my tips there. And I will jump back on here tomorrow to update you. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I will do my best to get back to all of them. So thank you so much for joining and I will update you later.